Hello and welcome to the Cranky Old Gamers Indie Spotlight. Today we are taking a look at Dark Scavenger. Uh, we're going to click to play. Okay. Uh, I've, I've played it for a little bit just to get an understanding of the game. I'm going to go ahead and start a new game for you. However, I kind of feel the need to... There is definitely a market for this game. I don't believe that I am it, but I'm going to show it to you anyway. So yes, we'll delete all your current save data. Um, there is a lot of heart to this game. There is... And the music is so loud. Like, I have it kicked down to 15%. Holy shit. Um, anyway, the hand-drawn artwork is endearing. It is entirely a point-and-click adventure with RPG style combat it reminds me very much of like Dragon Warrior uh, it's it's a weird system uh, the writing is very cute it's funny it's it's a weird game and I think this game had it come out in like the early 90s I think this would have been a massive cult classic okay so we're drifting through space a massive creature approaches you from the blackness what do we have here? Okay, just another human. I was hoping for something more filling. Get away from me, you freaky space demon. My name is Den, the apex of eternity and the beginning of something more elaborate. Eat me if you dare, monster. I love that you guys can actually see my mouse cursor here, that it's not an in-game cursor. <laughs> um... What's weird is this game plays in windowed mode, so, like, I'm capturing the window for the recording, but it's tiny. Like, it's this almost the size of a chat window. You can full screen it, but then it does this to the video. So, anyway, as you wish, shall we enter combat? This will teach you how to play. Click on the tabs. You have weapons, items, and allies. Weapons. I have an old sword. Old rusty sword. Use this to attack your foe. Weapons do high damage when an enemy is stunned. Highlight it and hit him. Yay, seven damage. He's observing my behavior. We have a battle booster. Let's go ahead and use that. We have a robot as our ally. He'll stun an opponent. Yay, stunned. Now we do extra damage. If I don't have a weapon, I can click on the fist here and just punch them. Your knee flies like a missile into Den's gut. I don't think it's possible to kill Den. I could be wrong. Oof. Nope. Dead. Okay. Alright. So, it's entirely text-based. The artwork is... <sighs> Charming? It's not necessarily good, but it's not bad either. Um, all right, we'll view the strange creatures. So we have the skeleton, Kamaho. Apparently these three are buddies. This is Gazer, who is creepy, pedophile-looking dude. And that's Gazer. Oh, sorry, yeah, that's... Falls in, not gay. This is Gazer. All right. They are crafters. They are your crafting stations. Your life is still in peril. Can we get more fuel? So we're going to go to this planet. <laughs> Wonderful. We'll be able to support you through crafting, but unfortunately, we're all terrible fighters. Somehow, this thing is a terrible fighter.
So you can go, and this is, you get little screens like this, and you can highlight. I can talk to Gazer. What's your deal? I'm an alien. From where? From space. What part of space? The outer part. How did you get here? Kamaho saved me. All right. None of them want to talk about Den. <laughs> and skeletons trying to get away from society. Like I said, this is not a bad game at all. If you like retro-style point-and-click adventures, it's actually pretty clever. I just, it's not my thing. So, okay, chapter one, The Forest Beckons. It is definitely a very, what's the word I'm looking for? Narrow scope for fans, I guess. You are either going to love this game or not. All right, so oh, we have combat, okay. Swiftly taking notice of you, the bandits place their heavy cargo on the ground, staring at you in disdain. What do you think you're doing here? Don't you know who we are? Don't you know who I am? You don't look like our leader. I said bow down. Whoa! Holy crap! Last time I had to fight them, but I said I was a dark scavenger. Anyway... Good work with the bandits. Look like you found some loot. Yes, I know what to do with loot because I've played this and I would rather show you guys than have you read through the text. Alright, so I got dehydrated skeleton. One of the bones looks a little different. Caramelized bone. Alright. Okay, so I'm going to click on the tree. There's something stuck in the tree. I'm not going to climb it because I learned the hard way that time. That's going to get me damage. Throw a weapon or item into it to knock it down. Um, let's, we have control A, we have five of them, um, uh, makes your next attack affect all opponents. That's pretty handy. Let's use our trusty sword, because it's kind of a piece of shit. I got an old net. I'm going to use, uh, let's see, this dangling net hangs from a tree branch inside of the remains of an unfortunate villager. Use a bladed weapon again, the trusty sword. Ooh, a key item. <clears throat> um, oh, I didn't even look at the muddy puddle. Oh, I, well, that's why. Amputated bandit leg. Let's use our trusty sword. And somehow a bandit foot is a key item. Got a map here so you can see where you've been. This will automatically drink a health potion. potion. This will show you what you've got without clicking on the individuals. Okay. Um, you see a burning forest, probably, or burning village, probably the work of bandits. All right, so I can't go that way, apparently. Every time you switch screens, you're going to come back here, which is your crafting area. So let's see, craft a caramelized bone. You have options. I can go to Kamaho and he'll make a weapon. I can go to Falson and he'll make an item. I can go to Gazer and he'll make an ally. I Let's see, the Amber Sludge has a strange kinetic property. I could use it in conjunction with bone fragments to make a gun. Falson says you'll be able to go first twice with this awesome cowboy badge. Gazer holds his arms out like a zombie, because Gazer can't talk. I like the gun, the bone dart Uzi. Old Net. Kamaho can't make anything out of the net. Um, Falson can make a springy weapon that will bounce enemy projectiles back at them like a trampoline. Gazer will make Jerbok the Trapper. There's a bandit near the edge of the lake, gripping a half-empty bottle of liquid. He is drunk and has his grass skirt around his knees. It's crew brew. Let's let's force an ally to drink it. And we got crew brew as a benefit. All right. Let's see.
This is the crux of the gameplay, guys. That you're going to go to each individual screen and just explore. There is a bandit. Okay. So there's nothing I can do on this screen. But if you look at the map, ta-da. Right. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, we can make the crew brew. Um, ah, yes, the vampire bat. I liked this toy. Oh, shit. All right. Kill the bandits, and now the villager says, Are you ready to challenge me? It is my destiny to die here. Okay. So we're at full health. Um. Yeah, let's just hit him. Actually, the ash light is going to be nice, because he's weak versus fire. Oof, he hit me. Let's use a vampire bat and heal. And he's dead. He has a pretty belt. Oh, did I? Oh, that's weird. I must have gone south last time. I thought I went north. Weird little creatures. I I like the artwork in this. It's kind of weird, but it's cute. It it reminds it's it's kind of British. It reminds me of like old British comics. Like uh, the art style you could find in like oh I don't know the old AD comics like Judge Dredd and just the style, not like it looks like that particular artist. I don't I don't know how to pin it down, but. And, okay. We use a flintlock pistol, and he's dead. Alright, so let's see what we can make here. Mega Mace! Alright, so Kamaho can't make anything out of the crafting blade, but Gazer will make an assassin, the Creeper. That's weird. Why can't Kamaho make anything? What if I what if I don't want to make anything? Oh. Well, that's weird. So. Ah, caught some bandits. You can use allies to the creeper can assassinate things. I have no idea what I'm doing from here on out. 
a weird ninja thing. All right. Let's see what budberries do. Hey! Ah, oh, crap! Yay, things being weak on f against fire. Yeah, I'll take a berry bomb, why not? Martek the Cruel. Majestic Lake, no sign of bandits. Excellent. Oh, crap. Oh, a beautiful woman. Am I the chosen one? So I am supposed to fight somebody. You must keep getting stronger, and I wish to help you in that regard. It may require a small sacrifice. I would like something you have not yet used. I want to feel the energy in its purest form before any of it has been depleted. Do I have anything? All right. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, a Peven Nest. What is this? Well, now I feel mean. I just killed a mom. <laughs> Creature! Oh, uh, hey, Dark Scavenger. I'm psychic? That was weird. So anyway, guys, that's Dark Scavenger. Obviously, if you've watched this far into the video, you are interested in this game. It is not my thing, but I think it is a good game by itself. Um, I, obviously, with the artwork and all that, somebody put a lot of work into this. So, <sighs> if you're into it, it's cheap. Um, let's see. One second here. It's four ninety nine. You can't really beat that. If this seems at all up your alley. My thing is, I the way the game works, uh, the items just don't do much for me at all. Ooh. Sweet. Anyway, guys, if this looks up your alley, check it out. It is called Dark Scavenger. It is available on Steam. If not, I totally understand. Uh, guys, check out my Facebook, facebook.com slash thecrankyoldgamer. Uh, check out my Twitter, crankyoldgamerx. And on October 25th, 2014, I will be doing my second uh, Extra Life Charity Drive. What that is is 24 hours of gaming on October 25th. I ask you guys to donate just a little bit of cash. I do not see that money. That money is going to the Children's Miracle Network. And it's helping doctors help kids that are sick 
and injured and ill, whatever. So it's a great cause. Also, if you donate $25 or more, let's see what this peeven can do. If you donate $25 or more, I will allow you to choose one hour out of that 24 hours, and I will play any game you want. As long as I can have it, or as long as I have it or can have access to it, I'll play it for an hour. So whether it be something you enjoy watching me play, something you think I would like, or you want to watch me play something you know I hate, like somebody's already making me play um, Kingdom Hearts. Everybody knows how much I fucking hate Kingdom Hearts, but it's for charity. I'll do it. The link for the uh, the Extra Life donation is down below in my description, the video description. Please check it out. Please consider donating. All right, guys. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you guys later. This has been Dark Scavenger. Bye-bye.